Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are staring at the back end of a beautiful Alec Honedale FD replica car of the S14. Staring at the ASD banner because we're here for another driver spotlight. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All that you found in the description box below. So for today's spotlight, we are taking a look at this Alec Honedale replica S14 of CDT Nirvana. So big thank you to Nirvana for giving me access to the keys to this monster. Alec Honedale, definitely a driver who I wish would come back into FD. Was definitely always a great driver to watch. And that rear mount looks sick. The cutouts and everything, the car, the livery, everything is on point. Definitely a very amazing model. And uh, once again, a big thank you to CDT Nirvana for allowing me the keys to this bad boy here so with that being said credit where credit is due on this model the model was done by Jayco designs the comp car for ESDA and this is his 2021 ESDA car physics are VDC wise fab the engine is a 913 horsepower V8 paint was made by Kevin Stump and Angel Designs. So once again, a big thank you to Nirvana for giving me access to this car. We're going to go full send here on Daytona ESDA track. One of my favorite tracks actually here in the ESDA circuit so far. Long Beach and Yas Marina and Daytona are the ones that have been released. And uh, this is definitely one of my favorite car tracks. And this is one of my favorite cars. Alex Hondale is definitely a very amazing driver. Like I said, wish he would come back into, you know, FD. So we're going to go full send on Al Condale's car here on Daytona. Had to get our wheel cam turned on for you guys today with some uh, new glow around the wheel cam and the pedal cam as well as the digital dashboard and everything up for you guys to see. Going to heat these rear tires up and we're going to go full send and see what we can do in this S14. Take a little easy entry there, kind of close to the wall where we wanted to be. Kind of bring it out to the spot. A little quick handbrake grab there, little left foot break. A little shallow there, not too, too bad. Kind of right where we need to be there. Gentle rotation there, bring it onto the front clip. That was actually a really good front clip. Full on power all the way to the exit. That was actually not a bad run. Um, I kind of actually want to take a look at that run from the outside because it was not a half bad run. So we're going to go take a look. So my entry was a little bit lax. We could have done a little bit better on the entry, of course. Got a little closer to the wall for sure, but not too bad of a run if I do say so myself. This car definitely a very stable car a little shallow on there but overall not a bad run we would have taken those two cameras out for sure really nice on that front inner clip and throttling it all the way out just getting in that zone so definitely a solid run got another run that we're going to take my spawn the pits button decides to not want to work today so unfortunately we got to do this whole bring it back to pits and heat these tires up real quick. Go for another full run. Try to get a more aggressive entry on the start of this track. Because you know we're going to Irmdale with this car. But, oh, my shift knob is loose. Ooh, that's the entry I wanted. Really close to the wall. Nice hard flick. I, uh, yep. No, save it, save it. <laughs> Other than right there, that was a very solid run. Definitely very comfortable in this 14. Nirvana always coming out with some really well handling cars. And uh, yep, we got no spawn to pits. Very well handling cars. And that entry was, that entry was on point. Oh, I hit the wrong button. No. Can I go back and watch the replay or did it? I hit the wrong button. Well, I guess this just means we're going to have to try and do that entry again. That was almost a perfect entry. Dragging winglet on the wall here at Daytona. Oh, I don't think it loaded my setup. I don't think it loaded the setup from last time. No, it did not. 
Car is not handling how it should. Well, I guess that just means we're gonna head to Irwindale. Yep, the car is not the same setup as it was before I restarted the session. Handles way different, as you can see. Definitely getting a little loose. So let's head up to Irwindale, take this car on the bank. I wish we could have saved that replay because that was a banger of a run. So we did pull out one of the other liveries that are on this car. Oh, we're going to do one of the other liveries of Alec Condale. We do have the CDT logo on there, but he does have his CDT team livery on the car as well. Definitely really cool to see two of his liveries, and I love this livery with the Get Nuts Labs on it. You know, Forrest Big, Big Wang Gang, another one of my favorite drivers, so the Get Nuts Lab on there, definitely an awesome thing. Do like the contrast with the carbon trunk, so that rear mount radiator system and that trunk are just insane looking. Definitely an amazing model. Irwindale, full send. Let's do it. Oh man, that is a very solid wall ride. Did not want to e-brake there, but we're kind of a little bit off course. I am super comfortable in this car. Nirvana, you're not getting this car back. Sorry, dude. This car is now mine. This car is so nice, and actually, I'm out of the box quite comfortable in this car. I'm not sure if it's just the way Nirvana has it designed. It's very comfortable, but it's, it's very stable. It's a very solid car, and I'm having a blast with this. Having some of the best runs ahead on Daytona with this car, and uh, that was a pretty good wall ride, so... See if we can't do that again. If we can go two for two, then uh, this testament to this car. Oh yeah, Nirvana, definitely love this 14. Big thank you for giving me the keys to this thing. We hit full lock on that on our wheel, but we managed to hold it. This car is a force to be reckoned with, and this is mad fun. So, probably one of the most stable cars that I've driven so far. And uh, we're just gonna go and see if we can't run this car out of gas, but we're gonna try to get an, a hard flick entry. We're gonna try a quick snap entry into the wall. The final run here at Irwindale. Once again, a big thank you to CDT Nirvana for the keys to this Alcon LS14. That's not what I had in mind, but we'll suck it back up to the wall. Ooh, we can drag winglet through the wall. Can't see. Perfect run then. Quick snap. We're going to run out of gas. There it was. <laughs> we ran out of gas. I want another run. The car's just too good. We need another run. The car is just too good, and it feels too right right now. And uh, I've had a lot of fun doing a lot of these spotlights and found a lot of cars from other teams. I tandem Profits 13, which was very similar to my style. So this car is also very similar to how I drive, and definitely, you know, my love of S-Jassies. So we're going to go full send one final time and see if we can't get a nice bank run here in Honadale's S14. I mean, that's just, that's just too good. I mean, it's just so good that it's, it's unfair. It's unfair that this car is not mine, so definitely going to try and uh, park Nirvana into letting me have this 14. Oh, as I say that, we wreck it. <laughs> Having this 14, which I don't think will happen. He's got a good, solid car here for ESDA. So big thank you to him and everybody who made this car possible. And as always, a big thank you to ESDA for everything that they're doing for the community of comp competitions and competitors. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll let you find in the description box below. And as always, thank you guys for coming back and watching. Hot people rabbit. See you guys on the track.